Cameron from Sweet Town, back again for another uh, video. I'm here at the Acework headquarters and I'm here with Chris. Yeah. Hi, Chris. Hey, how are you? Cameron. Yeah, yes. Nice to see you again. Yeah. Uh, we're going to switch the camera around now and uh, Chris is going to give us an introduction to all of these Z77 boards and maybe some of the other boards that we've got here as well. Yeah. Okay, Chris, uh, if you can, please tell us about uh, your Z77 boards. Yeah, for sure. Um, this time, Acework really has a, you know, the awesome Z. Um, you know, the seven, Intel 7 series motherboards. Uh, we start from the here, you can see that these three, you know, pretty gamer oriented motherboards. This is, um, you know, Vitality Gaming Series based on the Intel Z77 chipset. The, the most enthusiastic one would be this one, the Z77 Professional. It's um, actually, you know, designed for the hardcore gamers, um, pretty, pretty nice looking, and of course uh, the, the signature, you know, Vitality mouse port can provide users to adjust their mouse porting rate from 125Hz to 1000Hz, and also, you know, Z77 chipset provides, you know, Ivy Bridge CPU support, and, you know, the SOI crossfire, and uh, for the uh, memory part, supports up to DDR3 28000 plus for the, uh, when you guys do the overclocking. And of course, a PCIe Gen 3 native support from the you know the the Ivy Bridge CPU. Um, the other two boards, like this one, so um, Micro ATX one, is also the you know the um, first Vitality Micro ATX motherboards. It's a Z77 Professional M. It's um, looks really you know really good, pretty compact. You can get what, whatever you want for the gaming features. Also, of course, like the Vitality Gaming mouse board. And the other one we have a ATX one is a budget ATX gaming motherboards Z77 performance. Yeah, um, we just take out some you know the heatsink and put it just like this. And uh, this one is mainly de designed for the budget users, budget gaming users. Okay, all right, Chris. And then now uh, this was the this is the Fatality Gaming series, and you've got some other boards here as well. Yeah. We have uh, like this. This uh, this is a uh, you know Xrock Extreme series motherboards. Uh, we start from the Z77 Extreme 9, which is the you know top of line seven series motherboards. I will show you guys later. So that's over there. We're exactly. Look in a minute. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. And now, so here you can see that this is uh, also a nice board. We call that the Z77 Extreme 6. Okay, you can see that heat pipe from here, and also the black and gold color scheme, and. Uh, you can see that based on the Intel Z77 chipsets on the just on the here heatsink and SLI crossfire support. The other thing I want to highlight is you know, here is a Vertu MVP. So for the you know the all the SROC Z77, Z75, and even we have one more skill for from the H77 chipset, it's a H77 Pro 4 MVP. These boards can support the Lucy Vertu Universal MVP. There are three ma major features from the MVP. Um, the first one is a switchable graphics, just like uh, you know, Virtual Green before it can dynamically switch the you know graphics GPU, and also they have two new features like hyper performance and virtual VSync. For the hyper performance, can boost up your you know gaming frame rate 30% to 70% and enjoy you know the better gaming experience. And also the virtual VSync can you know the to to fix that tiering issue and make your you know. Um, um, FPS to break the 60 FPS limit. So the virtual MVP is really good for the you know gaming responsive and also the also is good for the gamers. Okay, so this is the this is some of the Z77 um, boards here. The Extreme Six. This is the Extreme Extreme Four, four here, and we have another Pro Four. Pro Four. Yeah, so they go from sort of high end and they slowly get um, cut down on features. Uh, I think what's interesting here. Yeah, this one is uh, is a model that I just highlighted. It's um, H77 Pro 4 MVP. This is also the you know the first H77 motherboard on the market to support the virtual MVP because we want to let the budget users can also you know enjoy this kind of nice feature. Okay. So we also put this feature on this main board. Okay. Then there's Micro ATX here. Yeah, this is our Micro ATX uh, Z77 Extreme 4 M. It's a Micro ATX one, but uh, designed for the also for the enthusiast. Mm -hmm. And then mini ITX as well. Yeah, it's a mini ITX one. Building a small gaming PC. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, for the you know for the compact for the small small PC. You can see that there's a mini PCIe. We have a Wi-Fi module on board with uh, two antennas here, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a mini ITX one, but uh, looks pretty good, pretty compact. And uh, there is also one you know the M SATA connector okay. on the back, so users can just connect their 
M SATA SSD to here and then That's right, because it's mini ITX but exactly space the, the, the is limited the space is limited the, and yeah. so users need to have uh, you know this kind of uh, M SATA connector. Okay. But for the ATX one we don't think that the M SATA is really, you know, necessary, so we just put the M SATA connector on the mini ITX one. Okay. And you can see that on the box, we are mainly focused on one important feature. We call it the XFast 555. This actually combines three features, the XFast LAN, XFast RAM, and XFast USB. We call that the 555 because all these three features can boost your LAN speed, boost your USB speed, boost your system speed 5x faster. So that's why we call that the XFast 555. Okay. This is really good. All right. Now, um, I, Chris, I, you have the Z77 Extreme 9 here, and you have it hooked up to a power supply. You wanted to show us something special about this board? Can yeah. Well, uh, 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 just like I said before, uh, we have um, the Z77 Extreme 9, which is the you know the really designed for the you know the hardcore users. Um, so let me show you one thing. Yeah. I hope you guys like the LED on the heatsink. It's really cool, and we make it just you know looks more fancy for the you know, mm, gamers. It does look really nice, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it's not only look nice, but under this heatsink, we have an integrated one, you know, POX VX A seven four seven Pisa HR three bridge on board, so it can make the Z seven seven board to support the you know four way SLI, and with a two uh, two way SLI can run in by sixteen by sixteen. And with four-way SLI, you can run in by eight by eight by eight by eight. Yes, really impressive. Yeah. Okay. Well, Chris, uh, thank you for your time, and thank you for introducing us to the uh, your range of Z77 um, motherboards. Yeah. Uh, one more thing. Yeah. One more thing. Okay. That thing I want to talk about is that you know on Z77 Extreme 9, we also have a Wi-Fi module on board. Here is a mini PCIe with a, a Wi-Fi here, and we have um, you know the a new stuff called. That's right, YSB box. The YSB means the Wi-Fi plus USB. Because okay. um, Wi-Fi module with uh, two antennas connect to, to this, and users can simply connect this in the front of the chassis. Because we found that most of the, you know, the motherboard, the Wi-Fi antennas, they always connect the antennas in the rear, in the back. But that one get poor signal. Mm. So we, we make the, you know, the antenna from the rear to the front. Okay. And this one can really provide, you know, great signals for Wi Fi. Okay. And this one is not only for Wi Fi but also for Bluetooth four point oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, so through through Bluetooth and Wi Fi through the same through the same uh, adapter here, wireless uh, Yeah, antenna. wireless and USB. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 wi Fi and Bluetooth. So there are two two antennas here, one mm -hmm. vertical, one horizontal here to make the you know the best signal quality. Okay. And we call that YSB, the, 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 the SB means USB, because this one also provides two USB 3 ports here, so just connect to the from USB ports on the motherboard, mm -hmm. and you guys can enjoy the you know, USB, USB 3 ports in the front. Okay. Well, let me say thank you again, Chris. Yeah, and, no problem. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for the introduction to your new boards, and we'll uh, see you again soon. Yeah, no problem. I hope you guys like you know, the SRO Intel 7 Series motherboards. Okay.